Beastman Farm YouTube channel. Before we get to the science, we gotta announce who won some bolted nut sets from buying some CleesmanFrawn.com merch. Giving away a pair of these boxes every day on CleesmanFrawn.com. You can order a sticker, you might end up with one of these boxes in your order. From the 21st, we have Vance D from Larson, Wisconsin. From the 22nd, we have Jesse A from Piedmont, South Carolina. And the winner from yesterday, Brian B, we're calling him. If he ignores us, the sadness that will flow through my body. Brian, don't do this. Please leave your message. Unreal, Brian. All right, we're going back to the person. We're going back to Jesse from the 22nd. Hello? Jesse. Yes. Brother, we're putting a bolts and nuts set in your order. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesse. We appreciate it, brother. We, uh, expect your order in a few days and 1,100 nuts and bolts come with it. 1100 nuts and bolts and I will immediately lose. Thank you so much. That's what I like to hear. Thanks, buddy. See ya. So guys, hit up cleesmanforon.com after the video. You might end up with one of these boxes in your order. Ladies and gentlemen, on today's episode of McFarland Science, we are going to test if this Silverado with an LS V8 engine will run solely on brake clean. If you guys don't know what brake clean is, it's the most commonly used tool in our shop. This stuff, you spray it on anything and it will clean it. It dissolves grime, grease, and most importantly, it's highly flammable. We use this stuff to fire up cars. Come on now. The old urban myth is that you shouldn't use too much of this to get your car fired up because it'll actually dissolve the oil on the cylinder walls and hurt your engine. Well, today we're gonna test that theory. In fact, we're gonna put this Silverado on the dyno run this through the actual fuel system, through the fuel rails and through the injectors. And we're gonna do some dyno pulls and see if it'll make any horsepower. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna empty a bunch of these bottles of brake clean, which these are the ones we use every day in the shop, into this bucket, locked so, okay? Gonna empty a lot of them. We're gonna fill up the bucket with brake clean. And then when we have this fuel system, we're gonna drop this in the bucket. This fuel system is gonna go to the fuel rail on the truck, and we're gonna run straight 100% brake clean through the injectors on the Silverado, thanks to Dr. Tunamal, who is going to tune it to make it actually work. And Jack Stan, you're gonna show them that. Oh. Okay, yeah. Sheesh. It's very flammable. Give them a nice flame thrower going here. Okay, yeah, you see, very flammable. Wow, that's hot. That's very hot. That's very hot. Question is, Dr. Tunamal, do you think that this can actually burn right in that engine. We're gonna have to see. So I did a little bit of research and tried to see if there's any anything on stoichiometry for this particular fluid. Uh, all fuels have that, but I couldn't find anything for this. So we're gonna have to guess <laughs> and kind of see where it runs at. I know it's gonna light and it's gonna run, but is it yeah. gonna run well? We don't know. We're gonna find out. And if it does run good, we got Dr. Spray them all. He's gonna get some nitrous out. And then we'll really learn how it works. Or do we want to do the pump gas and then leave all the timing and everything alone, just change the fuel over? We'll just, yeah, we'll dyno and make like a baseline. We don't got to make like crazy power numbers or anything like that. We'll just get it a clean, nice clean pull and then switch fuel, switch it up. Okay. All right. All right. And we got to fill this bucket. You think we're losing a lot from evaporation? I think we're losing a lot of brain cells. They're it's checking out, Doc. None in there. It's costing them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you just like break the cap off like some people do it? <laughs> now we're all very flammable. We heard you like convertibles. I can't believe you guys got a brand new truck to use. <laughs> I know, right? It runs good. Are right, you ready to do this little baseline run? I am. We're almost there. Okay, cool. Fire in the hole. Ready? Woo! She's purring. Like She's purring. I'm guessing 256. Yeah, 256. Yeah, 256 on the horse torque. Ooh! Okay! Okay! What do we got here? Oh, 260! Let's go! 260! A little lean already? Okay, one more baseline. 260 horse torques. Gosh, dang. 
So you're gonna make a, a few little changes, make one more pump gas baseline, and then we'll switch over to brake clean. Power gain, brother. Well done. Well done. Look at that dyno graph. The second one just made about 20 more horsepower through the whole run. Bro, you see this axle, James? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it, Nate. It's all good. Are you ready to be switched over to brake clean, brother? Happens. All right, let's do this. Let's Here see what goes you can nothing, do. Boys. Is that going to spill a bunch of gas? Yes, sir. Let me slide a catch tray underneath it. Okay. You think it's gonna be lean on this? It's is it alcohol based? I think so, right? Probably, it dissolves so fast. Alcohol yeah. Alcohol, you need a lot more fuel to accomplish the same. same thing, yeah, like, okay. So you're gonna add a bunch of fuel right now, or just wait? I'm gonna see what it does, kind of get an idea. Okay. Don't you dare. Always wanted to do, dude. Don't you dare. He's having flashbacks. Oh, I don't even have a key. I've always wanted to key a car. Just do the screwdriver. Want to hear it? Wait. Oh! We should get Sam over here. Where's Sam at? <laughs> oh, Dude, now we know Dude Sam it. will pass out if you do that. <laughs> right? He just faints. Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling? Ready? It's broken. It's bad. <laughs> Give me the news, Doc. It's not gonna make it. <laughs> do not expose the heat or store temperatures in excess of 120 degrees. Hmm. That's some precision stuff right there. That's it. Whoa, look at that fuel flow. Oh! Hold on, hold on. Oh, man. I like the spark that gave off right there. Yeah, we're looking good, Nate. Fire it up. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is so sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> the pump is dripping. The filter. Yeah, don't, no, it's not dripping, Nate. You're good. You're good. Go ahead. Yeah, just fire it up, man. Oh! Well, it's got some in the rail. Yeah, it's got a little, little bit of gas in the rail still. You scared? This guy's making sparks now. I know. Oh, shoot. Oh, fix that real quick. Good thing it'll clean the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It doesn't stain the floor anymore. It cleans it. Why do you look so nervous? This thing's running great. I've, I've exploded briefly quite a few times. Yeah, I know. I'm scared of that bucket, I gotta say. It's It's a weird bucket. Let that thing rip, brother. Oh! That spark knock is real, dude. Do that. Oh! That sounds so bad. Dude. One more time. <laughs> it sounds like a diesel. It legitimately sounds like a diesel. Nate's gonna try and make a pull without changing the fuel. Man, I can see the air fuel ratio in there. It looks very lean. Way down in horsepower. Down 30 from a base. Spark, spark, spark knocking bad. That means octane's lower then. Yeah. 229 horsepower. We had uh, at the very peak 15.3 degrees of knock. Oh. <laughs> so that yeah, means that. Uh, a lot. That means, well, can you explain knock to them really All quick? Right, so basically, what we'll just simplify spark knock is when it's. The fuel is igniting before it's supposed to. So basically, it's exploding before the piston is actually there, and it's starting to compress an already lit explosion. Yeah, and that happens because the fuel that we're using now is way less stable. Yeah, it's very volatile for, like, gasoline. Let's say you have 93 octane in your car, right, and you want to put race gas in it. Race gas burns a lot slower. It takes more to actually light it, where this is taking a lot less to light the fuel. So It's, it's a little unhappy. sketch. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a little more flammable. Like, 30% at it and maybe see what it does. Yeah, it but might. That was two and a half. Where did it make peak power at? It made peak power. Actually, it was still rising when you lifted. They were spark too bad. I had to lift. You had to lift? Yeah, I, had, I had cringe face and I was Didn't like, Didn't want to blow it up? That's fine. I think it, it was still making power when you lifted, so. 
and out there we were only uh, nine <laughs> degrees of time. Yeah, well, with all that spark knock, it's probably yeah, pulling timing it was out. pulling nine out there, so I only had 18 in it, just to be safe. But <laughs> okay, well, let's just put some fuel in, let's see. leave the timing alone yeah, so that it matches the baseline yeah. and then just throw fuel at it. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Sketch, dude. A little sketchy. I know, I wanted that. I ran full speed to unhook that pump. For <laughs> yeah. It was making some sketchy noises during that pull. It smells like freaking brake clean in here, which is weird. Tailpipes. Tailpipes are glowing. Stuff out of it. Oh. Oh, that's a little bit loud. Oh. Did I just hear it knocking a little bit right now? Yeah, 13.7 air fuel right now. Let it rip, brother. What do you want? What do you think? Take fuel out or put more in? Take some timing out of it. There's no way it was full brake clean. The, the other one. The first one? Yeah. It must not have been. Because now it's spark knocking so much worse. <laughs> yeah, I can't even rev it. Uh, <laughs> try revving it up. She's sounding bad. Very good. Dude, <laughs> it sounds like a diesel. Well, what do you think? It's, uh, let's see. Let's see what kind of timing it is. Negative six degrees. I don't it's know. If pulling it's pulling that much yeah. out. Do you think it'll run better if we spray it with nitrous? On pump gas? On brake clean. Yeah, I think hundred percent pistons to ground contact. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to try methanol. Do we got anything better we can put in it? Brake clean clearly is not the answer. Brake clean. Bad. Not it. Bad news. Not it. Spark knock is so severe that the engine will explode. I am fully confident it will rattle the pistons to dust. Okay, all right. Bad news, dude, for anyone trying to run brake clean in their car. You might be able to idle to the gas station. Okay. It's, if you're in a crucial spot and all you got is brake clean, you could... You can make it to the idle. gas station. Don't touch the gas pedal. You just idle. Just idle. Well, since the brake clean was such a letdown, we might as well put some 110 in it and spray the house down, see I'm, how much power she'll make. I'm, game for that all right oh look the man is armed and ready <laughs> all right guys this is a bottle of sam spray wax actually <laughs> hey how spicy are you getting okay what's that like a 400 shot dude george we need you to pet the dino marlin a couple times Like Don't hit it early. Wait for the signal. Visor down. <laughs> oh, All right, here we go. We're back on race gas. Gonna do a little nitrous hit here. Get in there. Wait for the signal. pretty good yeah 409 horsepower <laughs> that was being conservative 409 he didn't wait for the signal he did not wait for the signal <laughs> james look at the blip from when you missed a little bit when you're trying to get closer and then you got it back in got it right over 400 well that's gonna do it for today's science episode of try and brake clean in your engine as the sole fuel it does work, but it won't make much horsepower. Let us know what you'd like us to try on the next Science Channel episode. We got this car, we got it set up so we can try all kinds of fuels, and we're willing to try whatever you guys think is good. So, shout out to Dr. Tunamall. Check out his channel. Thanks for helping, Dr. Yeah. Tunamall. That's it for now. Thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We'll freaking see you later.